What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today we're taking an in-depth look at the Markle B paint stick. As always, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the product, and then we're gonna head over to our testing area, see how the Markle B paint stick performs in a surface test and a tag test on a smooth wood surface, rough wood, brick, smooth metal, greasy metal, and even rusted over metal, as this product is supposed to be able to write on all of those surfaces. So Markle is a company that has been around for a very, very long time, and so has the Markall B paint stick. This product has been tried and tested, so you know there should be some guaranteed quality to it. Being that the Markall B paint stick has been around for so long, it has caught the attention of a different community, that being the graffiti community. Graph writers have been using this highly permanent tool that can mark on any surface, wet or dry, for decades at this point, I think it's fair to say. The Markall B ranges from 4.5 to 5 inches, or around 12 centimeters, for the standard 17 millimeter width size, that's this one. The product comes in a king size as well, which is about 10 centimeters long and an entire 2.5 centimeters wide. At one point they sold a thinner one as well, but I couldn't find any information on those, so they may have been discontinued. Aside from being one of the most reliable tools out there, the Markall B only costs about $2 each, but I'll share a little secret with you. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them for just over a dollar each. I actually have a link down below in the description to where you can buy a 12 pack of these for one of the best prices I could find. It's even cheaper than buying from your local graph store actually. So check that out if you do want to pick some of these up for yourself. The standard Markalls come in 14 colors, including some metallic colors, which you see over here. But I can say from years of experience, the colors do actually fade fairly quickly in the outdoors. That is one thing about this product. It says UV resistant, but for the most part, it is not. So it does fade fairly quickly if you're having outdoor application over a long period of time. So because of that, I use mostly the white ones. The Markall boasts a range from negative 45 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius to the positive that it can write in, but it's definitely the most fun on super hot metal for sure. With all that being said, let's head over to our testing area and see what these paint sticks can do. Okay, so we're outside now in our testing area here. Um, this is about the smoothest surface we're gonna test on. It is wood. It's been painted over several times though, so it's a very smooth surface. Surface. We're going to test this out with a few different colors across the surfaces, uh, starting with a nice vibrant orange on black. I think that's going to look great. And then we're also going to test this surface, but with water on it. Basically, this being one of the smoother surfaces, if wetness does pose a threat to the Markall B, it would be on this surface rather than some of the other more rough ones. I can tell you from years of experience again using these bad boys. It won't, but I mean, we gotta see it on camera, right? Also gonna start off by doing some hit offs for a few of the homies that commented in the last review video, link in the corner to that one too. Let's get into it. Shout out to Cura 57. Who else we got? Shout out to K Paxer as well. We've been talking a little bit. If anyone does want to hit me up, chat about graph, or if you have uh, obviously any commission work or anything like that, love talking to all the peeps who are involved in our graffiti community. So this is a fairly smooth surface, but you can tell it did just fine there. This is one of my favorite tools to write with because you know, you can get these nice, jagged, sort of tough looking tags. That's one of my favorite styles. I'm gonna put, lay down a few more on here, just for fun, and then we'll move on to uh, testing this out on wet. Something I forgot to mention is, the color is actually indicated on the side of these Markalls. So you might think this is just like a generic sort of uh, cardboard thing, but it does actually have the color on the side, so they are meant for a specific Markall. Now this is the aluminum, and we are going to see just how aluminum-y this is.
I do have to say that is very shiny. Oh. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. So just to let everyone know, it is quite warm out here. So these are super goopy today, but they're working really nicely. So this one's the aluminum. This one is the silver. I wanna see if this is a little brighter than the aluminum. So just so they're side by side, we can actually compare, let's see. Shout out to OGCW as well. Thanks for being a viewer. But to be honest, I'm finding it really hard to see any kind of real difference between them. This looks a little brighter even, but I think that's just because I laid down a little bit of a thicker line with it. Okay, so the time has come to test this out on a wet sort of smooth surface. There's orange over there. We're gonna use a wet orange over here. So cheers. I always love that effect. So I mean, it does make it uh, at first glance, you know, just a little more uh, smooth to write with, I would say, like a little more slippy. Really, it's fine. Not a big deal at all. I'm obviously running out of names to write here. All right, so just quickly, let's see what it does on a bit more of a rough wood. This is very lustry. Yeah, I didn't notice so much on the sort of shiny wood, but you notice on more of a rough wood, this is actually quite impressive. That being said, something I do want to emphasize about these metallic ones, if there's ever a site trying to charge you more for the metallic ones, I don't really think you should pay it because basically they're the exact same markles and you should be able to get them for the same price at some places. And I think a lot of the graph supply stores will try and up the price of these metallic ones, but I don't really think they should be doing that. So we are gonna test this out on brick, more as a formality, obviously. We all know how this is gonna go on brick, but just to say we did, that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna test this king size Markal B1. You can see the size difference, uh, but I'm waiting to test this out on the rusty metal, cause that's a super fun surface. So that's what we're saving this for, by the way. But right now I'm just enjoying the hell out of this metallic. I mean, it doesn't really have any problem there, obviously. We all know how that's gonna work. You know, you can put down some very vibrant lines, really. And I sort of gloss over that and not, don't really talk about it too much because I do see how these fade and weather um, because I've used them so much, but they can be very, very nice vibrant colors as well. And Markal deserves a little bit of credit for that. I wouldn't say too much because um, the color does get bleached a little bit, although they claim that it's resistant to UV rays, etc. So to test this on metal, we're actually gonna test this out on the side of my uh, motorcycle here. <laughs> Just kidding, no we're not. Oh, you guys hear that? The goddamn dirty lawnmower. Why does this happen every time? So we'll have to deal with that for now, but no, the actual metal surface that we're testing this out on, for a greasy metal at least, is going to be this nice black metal. As you can tell though, it's covered in grease. So it actually does take a little bit of press to Put that on obviously it went on it's not the smoothest sort of feel though but we will say it passes the um, greasy metal test let's try it on nicer metal now okay so now we're gonna try this out on just a bit of a cleaner metal it's not super clean but it's cleanish um, if you're wondering yes this is an old barbecue, but it's what we got, right? And that's what we're gonna test it on. I thought it would be really cool to see how a gold 
and the silver actually look on like already a shiny metal so let's see what's up with that oh my gosh oh that is so nice oh my god that's beautiful see this is the ideal surface it's sitting in the sun just this stuff is melting right onto that surface that's just gorgeous You know, color me impressed by these metallic ones. I sort of thought they were sort of gonna be like a sham and it would just sort of be eh. But these are actually quite lustrous. I, I quite like these. Not happy to pay more money for them, but they're quite nice. They add an element of uniqueness. If you saw something with this luster on a train, it would catch your eye right away. That's sort of cool. It's time to break open this baby and see how he does on the king of all surfaces, some rusty metal. So here it is, it's what we've all been waiting for. We have a rusty metal surface. Um, if you wanna know what this red stuff is, that is actually the marker I reviewed in the corner where the cards are. You can click the link and check that review out. You can see here all that crap caked onto the wheelbarrow. That's actually cement. This marker withstood entire cement mixing processes and is still there. So check out the review of that in the corner if you want to know more about honestly one of the most permanent things you can get let's get right to this Just so we can compare to a regular size Markle, we'll do one with that as well. I'll give you one last look at these. You now you can see how big that one is, the king size. So now it comes time for me to give my thoughts a little bit on what I think of the Markle. It's hard for me to say just because I've used these for so long, but I'm gonna take a biased Markle cap off if you will and just give you sort of a breakdown of the facts about these basically it's probably the cheapest paint stick out there that you're going to be able to find you can get those premium quality ones like the hand mix the sakura even the crank ones if you want to spend 12 billion dollars but the, at the end of the day this is the cheapest and it does have quite a bit of quality to it you can't argue against that the colors have their problems some of them aren't the most vibrant as you can see and they do sort of fade to white even the more vibrant colors like you can see the white there is really nice but that will eventually sort of fade as well as the white pigment in the paint stick fades a little bit and you get more of that natural sort of dull colorless white at the same time you know this is going to mark on any surface they're very small compact you can carry them with you the metallic ones don't actually perform very bad at all i was really impressed with them despite using these for so long never tried any metallic ones i picked a couple up just for the review really the, the metallic is quite nice and to be honest if you're writing on a nice warm outdoor surface in good weather with these these are quite buttery you saw how they wrote on the smooth metal dare i say it i bet these and sakuras give you almost an equally buttery feel if it's on a nice hot metal surface in some colder temperatures you're gonna see these struggle a little bit i know they say you can write in cold temperatures and that's very true it's just not got that buttery feel to it and i think that's why a lot of people stray away from these and make the upgrade to the sakura or the hand mix etc at the end of the day there's tons of paint sticks out there all i can say about this one is it's the cheapest especially if you buy in bulk like my uh, link in the description there has even though it's the cheapest it does have quite a bit of undisputable quality to them so this is me putting the bias cap back on i've used these for several years though because they're just so reliable they're a wonderful tool to use they're wonderful to write with they feel great a any writer out there knows what i'm talking about if i try and give them an unbiased rating i would have to say between a seven and an eight out of ten these are a great product they're cheap affordable and they 
have quite a bit of quality to them. Even if you are partial to say the more expensive options like Sakura, I would try some of these and maybe pick up just even three of them. And in that time when it takes you to use up an entire paint stick of these or three of them say, I think you'll grow quite partial to these as well because these are quite nice to write with despite being, you know, very slightly worse than say Sakura which costs, you know, four or five times as much as one of these. But I know all of you in the comments have probably used these before. I would like to know what some of your pros and cons of these are, why you use these over say Sakura or Crank or why you use Sakura or Crank over these. Who uses these still? Who's the old school writers that use these? Who has switched to the new ones? To me it's all fine. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever you love to write with. That's what graffiti is. So leave it in the comments. I'd love to know your opinions on the subject because that helps out everyone else as well. Some of the newer writers can learn from the comments. But that's about all I have for this review. This is a series we do on my channel where I review tons of different graffiti products. Check more of them out in the cards or the video on screen. If you're new to the channel, check out some of the videos. We do some graffiti freight train watching. I showcase a lot of my work on the channel as well as graffiti painting videos, things like that. If you like what you see, maybe consider subscribing. Until my next video, peace.